Hey everybody, welcome to the Ever Canadian. I am Pete, thank you so much for being here, and you probably interested us like, how the heck could the Steam Deck have changed this gamer's life so dramatically? Well, we're gonna get into that a little bit. First of all, hit that subscribe, smash that like button, get in the comments, let me know, has any product come out that changed kind of the direction and the velocity of your gaming, your game collecting, your game purchase habits, anything like that. Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested to hear about that. So who am I? Well, I'm Pete. That's who I am. And uh, I have been playing video games now since the late 70s. And I've had a collection. I wouldn't call it a collection. I've just held on to some games since the early 80s. I traded in a lot of a lot of games in the 80s and 90s because I didn't have very much money. Just starting out was either in school, just starting out and stuff like that. But I am a collector of video games. Most of the things in my collection are not really that expensive. They're games I've played or games I want to play on certain consoles. But I've been, I guess I could say I've been a collector now for a hardcore collector, probably for the last 25 years. And I'm done. I'm done. But I had an amazing journey collecting video games. Um, I met some tremendous people. I've played a lot of games I would never have played before. I've explored systems that I had never thought I'd ever have the opportunity to play. And for me, it was a great journey. But that really started to wind down during the PS3, Xbox 360 era. And, and officially, like, I gotta say... I was collecting the Nintendo Switch. I was pretty aggressive in my collecting of the Nintendo Switch, but I kind of kind of stopped. And most of my collecting on the Nintendo Switch was indie games, to be honest with you, or physical versions of once-only digital games. But I was a collector. But when I got my Steam Deck, that kind of... Sh there's something shifted in my mind that went from, um, you know, I don't think I'll ever buy... A physical version of a new game again. And this comes into another reason why it's, uh, it's kind of turned my gaming life upside down is I used to be a heavy console gamer. Very seldom was on PC. Not because I didn't like PC gaming, it's just that I never really had a rig that could could run it. I wasn't into the graphics card, uh, GPU and CPU chase, always upgrading. That wasn't me. Consoles, I like the ecosystem. I like that every game was made for the same hardware. And I was a console gamer my entire life. And, and I was right up until the Steam Deck came out. You know, I bought the Series X, the PlayStation 5. But I'm no longer a console gamer. I cannot remember the last game I bought for either one of those consoles. Um, I haven't really continued to buy games for that. I have Xbox Game Pass, but I have that mostly for my kids and my, and my wife. They they enjoy Game Pass, and it's a great service. I You know, I'm honestly thinking about selling my PlayStation 5 just because I don't I don't play it. I don't buy it because the Steam Deck came into my life and it introduced AAA gaming on the go. And I can do AAA gaming anywhere. And I use my Steam Deck as as basically, for me, it is a stock Steam Deck. But my library is there. I have a library of Steam games and I continually, continually expand on it. And this is how I prefer to game now. I can take it anywhere. I've taken it on vacations, on planes, trains, automobiles. I can take it, plug it into my dock, my JSAO dock or my Steam Deck dock. On, I have it on any TV, plug it in, and it turns into a console. But then I can take it as a go. And the things that excited me about the Nintendo Switch, just the Steam Deck blew it out of the water. Because its catalog is much more, in my opinion, varied. It runs all the AAA games fairly decently, and if you can't get it running, there's tons of workarounds. Whereas, you know, not a lot of big AAA games go to the to the Switch. So, for me, it has completely stopped, you know, my console chasing the Xbox, the Sony, and the Nintendo train of new consoles every year. And I'm pretty much set with this now. And it's saving me tons of money because... I no longer have to pay the physical premium price on Switch games uh, unless I want to get Mario. I, I think I'll always buy the Mario games on, on Nintendo because it's one of my favorite franchises of all time. But I don't have to pay the Switch tax anymore. 
I don't have, and PC games are usually, you know, $10 to $20 cheaper on launch day than console titles. And there's a lot more variety of games on, on PC that never make it to console, but I'm saving so much money because I'm not paying that premium tax. I'm getting games digitally. I'm taking advantage of Steam sales. And this is my new collection right here. It is basically digital and majority of these moving forward will be AAA games. But when they go on sale and Steam Deck does an amazing job of putting games on sale. Now, does Steam, does the deck do everything right? Of course it doesn't. There's tons of compatibility issues with Windows games. It doesn't have a lot of the Epic games. There's a bunch of stuff. But for me, right now, it's re it's made me re really, really rethink my gaming habits. And to the point now where I'm looking around my room, and that's it. This collection will only contract over time now as I look at games I don't really feel interested in playing anymore, or games I don't want to play anymore. And I'm going to be sticking to Steam Deck, Steam Deck 2, other Andelts coming out. I mean, looking at the AO, AO Neo 2 for the Windows gaming and Epic gaming. I'm looking at the ROG Alley that was just announced. I'm looking at a lot of different options because I don't want to limit myself, but I'm no longer going to be a traditional console only player. I am moving away from that. Now, if Sony and Microsoft comes out with a device that challenges this, I'll look at it, but I don't, I don't necessarily think I'll, I'll make the leap. Because this ecosystem, what the players in the Steam Deck kind of field of, I call this the Steam Deck, like Steam Deck kind of kickstarted this mobile PC gaming thing, in my mind anyway, for me, and kind of making it more mainstream. What they're doing is remarkable. So for me, like those are the reasons why it's caused this dramatic shift. And, and I can't, I, I wish I could articulate it even better than that, but maybe over time I will. But as of right now, I... I cannot tell you how much freedom I have now where I can take a triple A game. If I want to play, you know, Hogwarts Legacy and just take it anywhere I can go, want to go, I can do that because of Steam Deck. One of the final big bonuses of this is I am a massive MMORPG player. I really like playing it. When I mean massive, I kind of, I'll play a couple hours a week between different games, but I love now that I can do crafting, run dungeons, and play tons of these games on the go because of the Steam Deck. And I really, really like that. I really like being able to go and play um, Star Wars The Old Republic or, you know, Lord of the Rings or any of these games. And just go and play these games on my deck. You know, play Final Fantasy XIV, one of my favorite games. Play that, you know, and just be able to do some really cool stuff. So... That has been a big bonus. So anyway, let me know, has the Steam Deck or any piece of hardware ever changed you, made a dramatic shift in your gaming habits? I'd love to know. Once again, I'm Pete. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next Steam Deck video, and uh, we'll have some fun. Bye, everyone.